Aloha! NCIS Hawaii finished its first season run last week, and fans will be delighted to learn that it has already been renewed for a second season. The season premiered back in September and saw plenty of love and romance throughout, but which couples will be back for the second season? Today we are discussing the NCIS Hawaii season 1 finale and which couples will reunite when the season returns. Stay with us. First up, how did the finale play out? Let's see. Well, the prisoner exchange was the focus of the finale. We saw Captain Milius and Tenet try to figure out who sabotaged it and who killed the journalist as at the end of the first part of the finale the week before, he began seizing and foaming at the mouth. Of course, he died soon after, but we will also learn that the Russian spy met the same fate. The doctor was then placed in the spotlight and quickly spilled that he had been recruited by Silver Moon, the same people behind Cartwright's murder in the previous episode. Elsewhere, Jesse has a close shave with the mine, but Boom Boom was there to save the day. Jane suggested that the real target was Joe and the group, with the objective of running any chance at peace. Although not able to reach him by phone, Jane and her team managed to get there in time to evaluate the building. But they figure out that Fabin's detonator is actually a decoy. Jane and Whistler figure out that McIntyre was responsible and promptly arrest him. Back at the office, Joe tries to figure out how he and Jane can be together. Together, whilst Jane reminds him that they live in different cities, thousands of miles away, but agrees to live in those nice thoughts when he's in town. Kate then turns up at the potluck to serenade Lucy, who responds by planting a big kiss on her to the delight of onlookers. What did you guys make of the finale? Next, which couples will reunite then? Stay tuned to find out. Of course, we saw the first season draw to a close with Lucy and Kate reigniting their romance whilst Jane and Joe came to an agreement over their situation. Situation. But as the prisoner exchange threatened to spiral out of control, it seemed as though Joe himself might not even make it out alive. And executive producer Matt Bosak said of Milius' disastrous handling of the affair to tamp down tensions between Russia and the US. Somebody wants war, maybe Russia, maybe somebody else. But there's a body count and Milius could be next. Thankfully, he got out there fine, with fans then expecting him to sweep Jane off her feet, which didn't quite work out that way. Kate and Lucy also also reunited after it seemed as though their relationship could be over for good. At the potluck, Kate decided to serenade Lucy, which served as a turning point for their romance. Of course, the pair had previously broken up after it was revealed that Kate had a girlfriend, but even after she broke it off with her ex, she still didn't let Lucy know. Lucy, of course, continued to be professional, and it was probably written in the stars that they would reunite if the pair's longing glances were anything to go by. And given what happened at the end of the finale, fans were delighted at how it ended for the pair. Hopefully both couples make it, but at this point, it's only looking like Kate and Lucy will reunite for the second season. What's next up for Whistler and Lucy then? Let's see. Well, of course, fans were delighted with what transpired at the end of season one, and we can probably assume that they will be an item when season two rolls around. But where do they go from here? Lucy has now realized that she wants to be with her, which given the problems they've had, is a good, mature attitude. And Jane Nash, who serves as a showrunner for the third NCI spinoff recently said that the show's goal was to make the relationship seem like an organic part of the show and of these characters' lives. She went on to explain that although they've only just started working on season two, they are trying to figure out a way in which they can move forward with the relationship without living in the issues that plague their relationship in season one. She also said that at the start of the season, they are really just focusing on that. What is it that they want from a relationship and how does that get embodied in our television show? All this is great to here and probably means that the two are set to stay together throughout the season. They clearly love each other, so it will be refreshing for them to find a way to make this work. So what do we know about season two? Stick around. Thankfully for NCIS Hawaii fans, the second season was announced back in March and it has also been revealed that the cast have filmed a crossover recently, which will link the old with the new. Not much is known about what the crossover will entail or which services will be connected, but when we know, you guys will too. And of course, Star detective Jeanette Tennant, played by Vanessa Lachey, will be back to head up the team. And we actually found out earlier in the season that Tennant actually has a link to Leroy Jethro Gibbs, who previously worked under him. We couldn't be set for Gibbs to make an appearance in Hawaii, could we? Probably not, seeing as he's retired, but never say never. At the moment, not much else is known about who will be returning for the second season, as not much has been said. But we can probably expect our core cast to be stopping by again. We are under the impression that the show runners are aiming for a September release date after season one dropped in September of last year, 
And at this point, there's no reason to assume otherwise. If this is the case, CBS will probably be announcing the second season within the next month or so. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Will you guys be tuning in for season two? Let us know below. Next up, what about the plot? Stay tuned to find out. As we know, the whole NCIS franchise sticks to a tried and tested method of a different crime taking place every episode. But one of the reasons why fans love it so much is because it delves into the characters so deeply, which we think is great. We will probably learn more about Jane and how she chooses to manage her relationship with Joe, as well as other budding romances such as Kate and Lucy. And Noah Mills, who plays Jesse on the show, said she would like to see his character brought to the forefront in the upcoming season. He said, there's a past that I like to expand on. My character was a DC homicide detective and wanted to get out of the urban, bureaucratic energy of DC. There's a reason he came to Hawaii that we're still working on. That would be fun. He also suggested that the upcoming season could include more crossovers and even went as far to describe as CBS and Paramount giving them the freedom to film crossovers is cool. He then went on to say that the guys from NCIS LA could even be set to make an appearance, saying, I would love to see the guys from NCIS LA come out to Hawaii. That would be super fun. Eric Olson is great. Chris O'Donnell and LL Cool J, I think people come in Hawaii is already a plot line. There's already humor and fun things to play there. What do you guys make of this? And finally, we're discussing the main show. Along with NCIS Hawaii being renewed in March, the main show was also given the green light for its 20th season. And as usual, it is expected that this one will drop in September. In celebration of the historic show returning, Sean Murray, who plays Special Agent McGee, dropped a promo photo on Instagram alongside a caption which reads, here we go again, baby, hashtag NCIS, hashtag season 20. And when the show does return later this year, we also know that it will retain its Monday 9 p.m. ET slot, with the aforementioned NCIS Hawaii following straight after at 10 p.m. And we could probably expect to see most of the main cast return with the 20th season, including Murray himself, Wilmer Valderrama, Katarina Law, and Gary Cole. It'll be interesting to see what direction the plot heads in, but we can probably expect Parker's ex to turn up again after how the season 19 finale played out. It has been revealed that Terry Polo will be returning to the role as a recurring character, which suggests Vivian will have a little bit more to say about the events in the 20th season. She seemed to be setting Parker up if the text message on her phone was anything to go by. But for what, we're not sure. What is your favorite variation of the NCIS franchise? As always, thanks for dropping in today and remember to join us next time for more fun and games. And don't forget to share our video with any NCIS fans you know of. Bye guys.